Hello, this is Tom. Welcome to Napco Video Tech Tips. Today I'm going to be going over uh, how to hook up wireless to a Gem C fire panel. You can use wireless for uh, pulsations. Uh, we have wireless smokes, wireless heat detectors. So I'm going to use a FireLink default program. So let's say you went and installed one of these and then you used up your zones here but they needed to add in more zones. So what you can do is you have the option of hooking up wireless. So first thing you would have to do is get a wireless receiver, hook it up to your Fire keypad data bus. You would have to go into System. You would have to go into RF Receiver SLC tab and then you would select RF Fire. Now you can have up to four receivers, fire receivers on this panel uh, providing that you're not using any SLC or anything but uh, you can have up to four and you hit apply okay and then you would go over to here okay so let's say we want to start it off at zone 9 so we would click on this box we would have to drop down the menu here and then we want to go with fire and we want to go let's say a W2 which we'll use for a pull station we have to go down here and we have to put the RFID number in and then a point one at the end and then hit OK so now we have RFW to uh, WD go in here and we choose pull station and then we would go here and we would just go and select fire alarm NAC A Delco 1 and then apply and then close and then we can put station okay so it's going to sign it to the area now on the next one what we'll do is we'll do a smoke detector we'll go back into here and again we're going to go into device type and we're going to select smoke WL smoke okay and again you go down and put the RFID number in and then hit OK. Now it comes up as a RF smoke. You can assign it as a smoke detector. And then go and choose your zone type. Again it's going to be Fire Alarm Telco 1. And next one we'll do is we'll do a heat detector, wireless heat detector. Again with the RFID number. And okay. We're going to choose heat alarm. Select your zone type. And then your zone description. So you can have a combination of you know the hardwired zones on the fin module. You can do um, you know wireless pulsation heat detectors smoke detectors, CO sensors. Uh, just a word of warning with the pull stations, you're going to use a WD2 and you're going to need to look in the instructions because they could be used for Berg or Fire. 
if you hook it up as a fire you only be able to use 0.1 and you have to move a jumper and you have to use a resistor and that's pretty much it just download it to the panel and you're good to go thanks for visiting napco video tick tips